Five plays here. Dang it. On our way to Las Vegas. Yes, we are going to Las Vegas, but first we have to clean out the trash apparently. My car was too messy for her, so we're cleaning it out for the girl. And then and then we are off to Vegas. I was on a one-way train headed to a valley of death with the ball and chain. So first stop is the gas station, and then we are off. We have our snacks. Did you bring the snacks? Yeah, the thing Okay, good. Stopped about 45 minutes already. I'm not doing too good. You're not? You're not doing too good. What? That's not why. I don't, I don't know if that's true. Well. I don't even know where we are. Yeah, why don't you tell him what happened? I was using maps on my phone, but he doesn't have Apple CarPlay in his car. So it wasn't up on the screen, it was just mm -hmm. on my phone. And then it bugged out and stopped, so we added an extra 30 minutes because we missed a turn. Our map supervisor <laughs> got us lost. So we have made it to the Hoover Dam. A couple missed turns, but we did make it. That's the way it goes. Let me know, guys, in the comments, have you uh, ever been to the Hoover Dam? Why don't you tell us what's your favorite thing about the Hoover Dam, huh? Uh, my favorite, they're not really people, but Bumblebee and Optimus Prime are here. <laughs> I need a better picture, though. Let's try this. Anyways, made it to the hotel room, and... Um, Pretty nice room as you can see here. I uh, got a nice view of the pool. Now let me know guys if you have ever been to the Vadera Hotel. What do you got? Gotta fix that. On our way to my favorite thing, high limit slots. So I always make money here. Always make money here. Is. If you see a slot like this, you know you're gonna make a lot of money. Ah! Oh, I didn't mean to press the button. So that's a bad start. <laughs> this accidentally did a double bet, so not off to a good start. Ah, oh, shoot. our last $50 risky just a uh, $150 of my winnings here tonight and then I'm gonna cut it we got five plays here dang it nothing again currently on our way to try out Gordon Ramsay's burger we'll see if it's any good uh, they said there's no reservations but we're gonna try to get in anyways we're gonna get to Planet Funk Hollywood. That way, there we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey there, beautiful. That's what they said to her, but. Well, Gordon Ramsay's burger was too busy. Is it recording now? Oh, yeah. This, this guy only packed this shirt, these pants, this shirt, and these shorts. Uh, we went to a club in our hotel. <laughs> and? Caleb danced the whole time I with me. Dance. I did dance, yeah. It was fun. Exhausting. We slept till min uh, midnight. <laughs> or you didn't go to sleep till the sun was coming up. Well, yeah. But <laughs> oh. on, on, on a side note, I did make $800 on a slot machine. I gave back 120 but I still walked away with about $700 cold hard cash. The Liquid. IRS is not going to be touching that cash. I go back to those slots because it's tempting. I'm going to maybe just do like 30 bucks. 
It doesn't hurt to... 30, 40 Well, bucks. how much is it? So when you play on the... I didn't even look at how much it costs to put... Because like the regular slots are like twenty five cents a dollar or whatever. Yeah. So how much was it to start at a low? A one credit is ten dollars. I wasn't there obviously because I left. <laughs> yeah, I was, we, I we was won't trying talk to about that. No, I was trying to find the club. Yeah, she was looking for the club, and I'm like, I don't want to go clubbing. I just want to make money. <laughs> so luckily, I didn't go. She was like stomping off, and she's like, Well, I'm I leaving. And I'm like, Well, I gotta. I'm, I want to. I want to make some money here, and so. I didn't stomp off. I just left gracefully, and then he made seven hundred dollars. And then yeah. and then she came back. Hmm. I did. What do you? <laughs> she stomped off until I made money, and then she came back. Oh, that's how I knew where you were, because he, he. So when you finish, you go to the cashier's area, and so I was like, oh, he's probably at the cashier's. No, I told you that's where it was. Well, I figured. Well, I was hoping that's where you were, because sometimes. <laughs> Caleb gets super excited, and then he makes a lot of money, and then he puts it all in, and then he loses it all. I did. Well, I did make the 840, and then I, I lost it down to 680. I'm like, I have to cut it, because Faith is going to be pissed if I, she finds out I lost all of that. <laughs> and you yeah. could have. The mistake I made was not changing slots. I made 800 on one slot, and then I, I went back to that same slot, and I got nothing out of it. That's my rule. And he tends to not listen to it, and it hasn't worked for him. That's how it works. Especially and if you're taking your ticket, they can track where you just were. So they expect you to go back to that same spot and then you're gonna lose all your money. I, that's, that is just a rumor. I don't think they have to track. Yes, they do. Cause if that's why cash is king. So people who are crazy with gambling, they take those tickets you get. So you gamble, you take your ticket back and then people cash it out and they keep going and they typically do much better. Uh, take that with a grain of salt because I did some research and that they said that was not the case. Maybe not, but you gotta find your groove. And I think you found it last night. Even no, though. I got lucky. That's all it is. I know that if I continue on with the high slot slot machines, I'm gonna lose it all. I mean, I already lost. <laughs> I did like what 14 plays, and I made nothing out of all the, the 140 dollars. So, anyways, that was good. But yeah, we're gonna get some B-roll of the strip. It's really oof, a lot of weed smoke, cigarette smoke. It was awful. It was terrible. I mean, it wasn't made that us... bad, but after a while, it's just like, oh my goodness, just like enough of it. You almost got a good cocaine deal, but you didn't take it. Yeah, a couple guys were good offering cocaine and, and what else was it? I don't know. Was it something else? It was like, oh. yeah, it was like a full array. He's like, you need coke, like Adderall <laughs> and... Um, the whole shebang. I'm trying to think of the other one, that anti-anxiety one that people take. Maybe I need that. It's funny. I spray a tan too, can you tell? Did you? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, so we're going to... Are we going to Mickey D's with your friend? Uh, either Mickey D's or somewhere nicer. It's really expensive here. Like at the club, it was like twenty dollars a drink. And it was. Got, it was. We awful. got like five to six drinks, so that was. I don't even want to do the math. It's like one twenty. It was like a hundred bucks just to get into the club. And it, it's awful because. It actually worked out. When we first got in there, I'm like, wow, we just wasted ninety dollars because that was the cover charge to get in. Which we missed. That was crap. I mean, it wasn't. And they didn't even too let you. Crappy. I didn't get it. They didn't even let you go dancing. They had a yeah, off. so we were at the Aria Resort Casino Club. Nightclub. Nightclub. And when I had only known about it because I was invited to go, and it was free entry before 1230, and girls drank for free from 12 to 1. And that was a lie because we had gotten there about, what, 1245? And I know it's only 15 minutes, but they didn't even continue that or advertise it, which makes sense because they're losing money. But you couldn't get through the ropes that they had all around the dance floor because the only people that could dance on the dance floor were people that had tables, VIP tables. Really? So I lied. So I went up to the rope and she's like, what table are you at? And I was like, the one in the back corner. And she's like, for real? I'm like, that guy. Is that how we got in? That's how we got in. You're welcome. You lied? Yeah, because I'm like, I am not. There is no way that Kalen paid the cover charge to go to a club to pay for drinks when it's supposed to be free and to not dance. So I had to find a way to get in. So I used my skills and she's like, where are you going? I'm like, you I can't hear you. You lied. Well, your criminal skills. <laughs> I thought they let you in because they were not nice. <clears throat> no, she thought that I knew what table we were going to go to. And so that's why I was like, go this way. We're going this way. Cause I wanted to make sure that it looked like what table I set, which was the back right corner. That's why we went that way first. And then, I mean, it didn't matter at that point cause we went dancing on the middle of the floor which was fun. Caleb has some moves that I didn't know he had. I was doing a lot of the <laughs> and anyway, 
Yeah, I think we... were the we... life of the party by the end of that club. We, we closed it down. We were there for the last song. And the lights came up and we're like, wow, what just happened? Well, that's all, folks. We are back to Phoenix. The Vegas trip is over. If you made it this far, that is very impressive. Let me know in the comments what you think about what you just saw. That said, guys, I will catch you in the next video.